Let's talk about EFCs. Now, to further complicate matters in an already complex process, there are three different types of EFCs. So any given college will use one of the three EFCs called the federal methodology, the institutional methodology, or the consensus methodology. Now, uh, for some general terms or a general understanding, most public schools use the federal methodology. Many private colleges use what's called the institutional methodology. And then we have kind of the, uh, in their words, elite private colleges, the, the uh, Ivy League schools and the MITs and Stanfords that use what's called the consensus methodology. And there's some differences between each of these, but there's also some characteristics that are the same across the board. And that is that these EFCs are largely driven by the family's income and non-retirement savings and investments. So your retirement investments, your 401ks, your IRAs, uh, any tax sheltered annuities or pensions or deferred compensation, these will not be included as part of the EFC calculation. But all of them are going to look at your non-retirement savings and investments, your 529s, your savings account, your checkings account, any mutual funds that are not in retirement accounts, uh, things of this nature. They're all going to look at those to varying degrees. One of the biggest differences between the federal methodology and the institutional and consensus methodologies is that the institutional and consensus methodologies will look at the equity in your primary residence and they will consider that an asset to varying degrees. Now, every school is a little bit different in terms of how much uh, the schools that do use these uh, institutional and consensus methodologies, there's a variation between how much emphasis they put on your home equity, but it's important to know if we're a homeowner and we're applying to schools that use these methodologies, it's probably gonna be a factor in our financial aid eligibility. So it's important to know. Now, the public schools that only require the FAFSA, it's very important that we do not list uh, any equity in our primary residence because that is not a factor in their formula. And we don't wanna make a mistake when reporting that on the FAFSA. Now, every school that only uses the federal methodology, they're only requiring uh, the FAFSA financial aid application, which we're gonna talk about in detail and that formula is calculated by the Department of Education. There'll be a few different translations that particular colleges will use, but the Department of Education has a universal formula that they use to calculate that federal EFC. And again, largely based on non-retirement savings and investments and household income. Now in the institutional and consensus methodologies, there's a little bit more variation in terms of how those particular colleges within those buckets decide to calculate an EFC, and we're gonna talk more about that.